All right, my friends, it's now time to do Weenie of the Week, brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. Indie Spotlight Live can be heard every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The screen name is Risky Business 04. Hope you'll come by and join us if you're watching this on YouTube or the recorded video here on Blog. Uh, this week's Weenie, and this is kind of a two part story. Um, Tyrell Morton. Uh, who's an Indiana teen, he could be facing eight years behind bars for a blow-up doll senior prank. Um, playing with dolls could result in Tyrell Morton spending the next eight years behind bars. Uh, that's where the 18-year-old Indiana high school senior could lightly celebrate graduation after his attempt at a senior prank failed. This is why I didn't do a senior prank. Some shit like this would have happened to me. Okay? Basically, his prank resulted in a bomb squad evacuation of his high school in Rushville, Indiana, last week. Um, he insists all he wanted to do was put a blow-up doll in the girls' bathroom as a joke, but when school officials saw surveillance video of a hooded figure wearing latex gloves entering a woman's bathroom, carrying a suspicious package, and leaving empty-handed, uh, they tipped off authorities. Uh, investigators recovered the inflatable doll and arrested the teen. Who has had no previous run-ins with the law. Um, he's not like an A-plus honor roll student, but he's not a bad kid. Um, you know, he doesn't play sports, he plays video games. Um, he either wants to be a doctor or a video game tester, from some of the other things I've read about him online. Um, Morton told it's not right, it was a senior prank. They're blowing it out of proportion. Poor choice of words there. They're blowing it out of proportion. A blow-up doll. <laughs> blow-up. Out of proportion. Um, I didn't hurt anybody, I didn't intend to embarrass anybody, what did I do wrong, you know? I gotta call bullshit on that one, I, you know, I, from the things I've read about him, I really wanna like this kid. You know, from all accounts, he's a good kid. But, you, you don't put a blow-up doll in a girl's bathroom unless you're looking to embarrass somebody, I'm sorry. Um... Robert Turner, who's his attorney, told uh, Channel 6 News that the charges are overblown. I have to agree with that. Um, it's interesting that he, had he gone to school with a gun, this would have been a lesser charge. It would have been a Class D felony with up to three years. Um, but Rush County Prosecutor Phil Cavines told WTHR that the prank, which cost the school $8,000, was no laughing matter. In his post, Columbine World, what you get... That's what you get when these kinds of things happen. Kinds of what things? This was a senior prank, you know? Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Why was the doll... Why? Was the doll a minor? Our good friend Rob asks. <laughs> it was his prom date, according to Kevin. Um, now he is the blow-up doll, according to Jim. Kevin finished it for Bubba. Rob said, getting caught by the cops red-handed with a blow-up doll. Imagine the judge cracking up. You know, yeah, you know, for all, for, for the, the penalty that this guy could serve, I really just don't see how, I really don't see how he could get locked up for this, you know? Um, Jim said, I hate to be overblown. <laughs> Charlene, ha, the judge probably has one. Probably does. Um, assault with a blow-up. Guilty! Um, Rob said, yeah, he'll order it kept as evidence long after the trial is over. God. Hey, Jim, good question. Man, a hard eight? <laughs> God. Can you imagine being locked up? What are you in for? Man, that bitch told me she was 12. Oh, uh, never mind. What are you in for? Fucking neighbor. Some bitch was looking at my wife. Never mind. What are you in for? Dude, all I did was take a blow-up doll to school. You know? So, I can't really call the, the kid the weenie of the week because, you know, I kind of feel for him, you know? I, I clicked on some of the links in that article, and if you're watching this on YouTube, I will um, I will drop the link to the website um, for the kid because you know what? I think this is overblown. 
So who's the weenie of the week? The fucking prosecutor. Because I'm sorry, this is bullshit. You shouldn't get eight years for taking a fucking blow-up doll to school. The prosecutor's name is, uh, Robert... No, 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 no. Pil Caviness. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Because I think this is bullshit. The senior prank. Should he be punished? Probably. Because you know what? If it had been the other way around, and if it had been somebody looking to blow up the school, bringing in a package, and walking away, and nobody did anything about it, and some tragedy happened, then yeah, I totally get that. I'm not stupid. I totally get that. Um, but it ended up being just a blow-up doll. The punishment should fit the crime. Um, in my personal opinion, he should probably... Well, then again, he's not going to march with his class because he's still in the slammer because his family can't afford the $30,000 bail. Um, when it's all said and done, sentence him to time served. Um, make it a misdemeanor so at some point he can knock it off his record and get on with his life because he's just a kid, you know? On the other hand, you know, like I said, you know, I, I, I see what they're saying, but that's not what happened here. Make it, actually, make him pay the $8,000 as restitution and be done with it, you know? Because he's 18, he's going to be charged. What are they saying in the uh, chat? <laughs> Rob, this is my girlfriend. She's just shy, quiet type. Geo, more overreaching authority. Jim says more reach around authority. They agreed. Rob, after 30 days in jail, I think you're right. He's going to wish he had that blow-up doll. You know, I think... Um, and like I said, had this been a bomb and it got missed, people would have been screaming, how did it get missed? This is the society we live in and these are the dynamics that these guys are dealing with. I understand that. I understand overreacting to the present situation and calling in the bomb squad. What I don't understand is them calling in, you know, not calling in, but going after these ridiculous charges. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Um, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, and if you're watching this in the uh, chat on blog, I will drop the link to the uh, website for the guy uh, that the people have set up to explain the rest of the story um, after I'm done recording. Um, you know. Jim says he should have put it in the men's. Well, then it wouldn't have been a prank. Some kid would have walked out with a box in his jacket, you know? Then they would have said they were dealing drugs. That would have made a hell of a... That would have been a better story. One kid walks in with a package. The other kid walks out with a package. They're drugs. No, it was a blow-up doll. <laughs> Kevin, you're right. Principal's office would have been better. Give the kid an F for imagination. <laughs> there you go. You know, I really don't know. I, you know, I read a bunch of articles about this. Um, all he did, from the looks of it, was drop off a package. Uh, it doesn't look like he blew it up. If he blew it up, then that would have been freaking classic. <laughs> so, yeah, he kind of screwed that one up. But then, you know, a guy in a girl's bathroom, you know, especially when you're in high school, you probably don't want to hang around there too long. Um, so, you know, he's probably more worried about getting caught. But, you know, then again, look at what happened, right? So anyway, the prosecutors are the weenie of the week. Um, and again, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, my regular show is actually aired on Blog TV every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, weenie of the week is kind of a fun getaway for us. We break away from playing a lot of great music from independent musicians, as well as um, talking about things in the industry. Um, come check us out sometime. It's a lot of fun. I've been reading quotes from the chat. Um, you can tell it's a great crowd in the chat. You have no reason to not stop by. Sunday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. The screen name is Risky Business 04. The show is Indie Spotlight Live, and I hope you'll join us. Have a great week.